Let's take a look at special right triangles. So special right triangles have properties that allow you to use shortcuts to determine the side lengths of a right triangle without using the Pythagorean theorem. Uh, the two types of special right triangles are the 30-60-90 triangle as well as the 45-45-90 degree triangle. This is also a right isosceles triangle. So the 45-45-90 degree triangle theorem states that both legs are congruent and the length of the hypotenuse is the square root of 2 times the length of a leg. So remember the hypotenuse is always opposite the right angle and the hypotenuse would be the square root of 2 times the leg. So if we're looking at this figure here, um, these sides would be my legs and the hypotenuse would be uh, whatever my leg is times the square root of 2. Looking at this figure at the bottom, if we label our legs as x, my leg would be x, then a hypotenuse would be x times the square root of 2. So that is our 45-45-90 um, degree triangle theorem. And remember that the legs are always congruent in this particular triangle. All right, so let's take a look at some examples here. We want to find x and y in each figure. And so opposite our right angle would be y right here. Um, these two sides would be my legs. So my legs are congruent, so x would be 8. And remember, uh, the hypotenuse is always the square root of 2 times my leg. So my, leg, my hypotenuse would just be 8 times the square root of 2, which would be y. All right, so let's take a look at um, number 2. I have this 25 right here. My other leg would be 25. And my hypotenuse, again, is square root of 20. Um, my leg times the square root of 2. So my leg is 25. So my hypotenuse would be 25 times the square root of 2. So in this case, uh, x would be 25 square root of 2. And my y here would be 25. Let's look at this last one here. Um, now we're given our hypotenuse. So we're going to set this up a little differently. Remember x and y here. Well, remember here our legs are congruent, right? So x and y would be congruent as well. So we could set up a formula here or an equation. Hypotenuse is equal to, uh, we could say a leg times the square root of 2. Our hypotenuse is 19. And we could just say, I'm just going to use x for my leg. So x times the square root of 2. And now I need to solve for x. So I want to divide both sides by the square root of 2. That cancels out. So now I'm left with 19 over the square root of 2. I cannot leave that radical in the denominator, so I have to use um, a method called rationalizing the denominator. And that's basically multiplying my numerator and my denominator by whatever is in the denominator. So my denominator is the square root of 2. So I'm going to multiply my numerator and my denominator times the square root of 2. And remember, when you multiply fractions, you multiply straight across. So 19 times the square root of 2, we just leave that as 19 times the square root of 2. And the square root of 2 times the square root of 2 would be the square root of 4. And what's the square root of 4? It is just 2. So a pattern you will see is that if you're multiplying the same square root times itself, it's just going to be that number under the radical. All right, so my x and my y are both legs, so they are congruent. So they're both going to be the square root of 2, I'm sorry, 19 times the square root of 2 over 2. And that would be the length for both legs because remember, my legs are congruent in a 45, 45, 90 degree triangle. All right, so I would like for you to try these two problems right here. Go ahead and find x and y. So pause the video and try these two problems on your own. All right, so go ahead and check your answers. You may need to pause the video. And in the second one, I had to rationalize uh, the denominator by multiplying by the square root of 2. And that 14 comes from simply uh, dividing 28 and 2. All right, so hopefully you got these two problems correct. Now let's move on to the 30, 60, 90 degree triangle.
All right, so the 30, 60, 90 degree triangle theorem states that the length of the hypotenuse is twice the length of the shorter leg. Any length of the longer leg is the square root of three times the length of the shorter leg. And make note, remember here that the shorter leg is always opposite that 30 degree angle and the longer leg is always opposite the 60 degree angle. All right, so back at the figure um, at the top here, our hypotenuse is twice the shorter leg. So if we look at this figure, our shorter leg here is opposite that 90 degree angle. Our hypotenuse will be two times S. Our longer leg is the square root of three times the shorter leg. So um, our shorter leg, if it's S, the longer leg will be S times the square root of three. So everything is in reference to that shorter leg. Let's take a look at the bottom here, go a little more in depth in labeling uh, this figure ourselves. Uh, so we see that this is 30 degree angle. So opposite that would be my shorter leg. I could just call that X because remember everything's in reference to that shorter leg. So just restating the theorem basically. Uh, my longer leg is opposite that 60 degree angle. And that would be the square root of three times my shorter leg. So I can write that as X times the square root of three. And then my hypotenuse, which is always opposite the right angle, is twice that shorter leg. So two times X. And I can also make note that if my hypotenuse is twice uh, the length of that shorter leg, then we can make a note that that shorter leg is always half of the hypotenuse. All right, so let's try some problems involving this 30, 60, 90 degree triangle theorem. So let's look at these problems involving the 30, 60, 90 degree triangles. And so we can see here that X would be my longer leg because it is opposite that 60 degree angle. So my longer leg, remember, um, is always the square root of three times my shorter leg. So my shorter leg in this case would be five. All right, and then my hypotenuse here is always twice that shorter leg. And so my shorter leg again is five, right? And we know that this is a shorter leg because if this is 60, this is 90, then this would have to be 30, all right? So my hypotenuse is two times my shorter leg. So my hypotenuse would be 10. So X would be five times the square root of three, which is that longer leg, and Y, which is the hypotenuse, would be 10. All right, so let's look at this next, next example here. Again, I have my 30 degree angle, so I'm giving my shorter leg. All right, and so my hypotenuse is right here. So that is twice my shorter leg. So two times 14 would be 28. And then my shorter leg is always, um, well, my longer leg is always the square root of three times my shorter leg. So that would be 14 times the square root of three. And so X would be 28 because that is my hypotenuse. And Y would be 14 times the square root of three. All right, let's take a look at this last one here. Now I have my hypotenuse, all right, because that is opposite my right angle. And my shorter leg is here opposite that 30 degree angle. So this would have to be 60 degrees. So Y would be my longer leg. All right. So if my hypotenuse is 32, it is always twice the shorter leg, meaning it is going to be, so meaning my shorter leg will be half the length of the hypotenuse. So one half of 32 is 16. So 16 would be my shorter leg. And then that longer leg would be the square root of three uh, times that shorter leg. My shorter leg is 16. That would be 16 times the square root of three. All right, so X, 16, my shorter leg. Y, which is my longer leg, is 16 times the square root of three. All right, so we've done these three examples. So now let's try some on your own. All right, so these last two problems I would like for you to try on your own, finding X and Y using the 30, 60, 90 degree triangle theorem. So go ahead and pause the video and try these two problems on your own. 
All right, so here are your answers here. X is eight times the square root of three and Y is eight. And the second one, the X is 11 times the square root of three and Y is 22. So hopefully you got these problems correct. All right, so we've reached the end of our lesson. I wanna thank you for learning with me. Some related videos are the Pythagorean theorem and the converse, as well as right triangle similarity. If you haven't already, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And once again, I want to thank you for learning with me.